summer hunting. Don't rule it out, guys. There's plenty of good animals and actually probably in the best condition of the whole year through the summer months. But keep in mind, fawns have just been dropped early December. So if you are looking at a doe, have a look around first. She'll usually be looking around herself um, if she does have a fawn with her, but that fawn could be sitting hidden. So watch the doe first and see if she's got a fawn with her because shooting at a doe so early, maybe towards the end of the summer, late February, March, the fawn be able to survive, but this early being dropped, it is December now, um, that fawn's probably not gonna have much, much success in living. But also if you're shooting for meat, guys, if that's what you're doing, that's what you're doing. Like, it's fair enough to shoot for meat, don't get me wrong. I sort of don't like to shoot, those that have fawns with them personally. Um, and it is recommended that if you are going to, that you do your utmost effort to take that fawn as well. Um, Cause it's most likely not gonna survive. Obviously it's hot. So snakes are about, get some gators. Yeah, you sweat, but it's that extra bit of protection on your legs. It also helps walk through the thistles and the bushes as well. What else was I gonna say? Meat. Got to get your meat cool. Butcher it, get it back to camp, get in the esky. You want to take some good quality game bags with you. Um, Hunter's Element are, are not too bad, come in little sacks. Otherwise, I've just got myself a set of Viam game bags, which I'm going to do a review on as well. Um, comes in all different sizes in a little pack satchel. So I'm really looking forward to using that. Um, get that meat butchered, get it cool straight away. Now, the blowies are out, so even if you can hang it in the tree they're probably going to get over it anyway i recommend getting it straight in an esky if, if possible but um as for as for bucks guys they're still growing right now they're going to grow all the way up until middle to late january now yes if you're shooting meat absolutely we've spoke about that but if you are going to shoot trophy or something in velvet let it let it grow until then uh, late january that's when they're pretty much fully grown and just before they're going to strip. Now, do some, shoot something real early, their antlers are still growing so they have blood in them um, and that's going to be really hard to preserve. You can preserve it using formaldehyde and a few other features, um, but it's a pretty, pretty um, what do you call it, hazardous toxin, so probably not the best to use. There are some stuff coming out of the States which is good, which you can spray on. I think it's from Velvet Tech um, Technologies, which I'm actually going to look into getting a bottle myself. But yeah, wait till late January. Um, the best eaters right now are probably yearlings or spikers. So that's what you want to look out for when you're in the forest. Um, and they're most likely the ones going to be out feeding around by themselves anyway. So summer hunting, don't rule it out guys, because there's plenty out there. Just make sure you're well equipped, okay? You've got plenty of water with you. You've got all your equipment, your game bags, um, your butchering animal, getting it back to camp, cooling that meat off um, and making the most of it. hunting in the summer we look for water sources obviously all animals even we we need water so they're going to be visiting those dams those creeks quite regularly now hunt early as the rest of the year when they're up and about hunt early mornings late afternoons um, if you're out about during the day they're most likely going to be bedded up and out of the heat as we want to be as well so check for in the thick pines real thick woody areas where they're going to hide up out of the way but Water source is probably um, my first point to check. Another one, especially with the blackberries coming on, those deer are gonna be all over them. So there's blackberries growing um, down in the creek gullies. Um, always sit up high and watch them. They're most likely gonna be come on feeding, feeding throughout those blackberries, end of December, early January. What's I was talking about, those dams, you see your in between pines, and deer are coming down this gully, or game pigs, feed across that edge there. Especially in summer, that's where they're gonna be. Look at that. That's all we come here to do. 
summer hunting. Some people don't like it, but results speak for themselves.